Oh, that's way softer than I thought. Got a wee party of cows for me this morning. There we are, we can. What a beast. There we go, that's all already done. Coo's not get over. Ah, you bad. Yes, we're stuck. Morning, Holly. Oh. I've got about a thousand spanners. But I'm in Glasgow and I've not got any with me, so I have to buy some. Nice wee set, though. Tiny wee things, although it's got 8, 10, but it's missing a 13. 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. If it had a 13, it'd be a cracking reset. What a morning. We've got quite a lot of snow, and there's a war in Russia. Well, in Ukraine. We'll see how it goes, see what happens with the war, but immediately cereal prices will go up. We've got quite a lot of wheat to sell. But uh, well, gas prices immediately went up 30% this morning. So that then leads to fertilizer prices going up again. That then leads to increased production cost of the wheat next year. So that jump in wheat price now probably be gobbled up next year by production costs. We'll just have to plod away here, get rid of some snow, see what tomorrow brings. Dad's got the farm a good lot clearer than the actual main roads. Car park's all done. Yeah, it's done. It's not slushy and wet yet. It's, it clears up nice and there's no cars kicking about either, so. Anyway, you can tell it's been windy. Right, I'll away and chuck my wellies on. Go and feed some animals. The discovery's looking a bit different. It's much nicer in the snow today. It's dry. It's not wet, soggy, sleety stuff. Look quite nice in the snow, doesn't it? Hey. The snow's starting to fall again. You can't really tell that camera. It's relatively heavy at the moment. That paints a better picture. Cold day like this, bit of bedding's a fine job, warms you up. Calves are loving the straw. <laughs> right, come on out the way, out the road. <laughs> come on. Look at that snow coming in. Right, that's these squared up. Calves are happy as Larry. There's a lorry just going along the road. Is he turning in? Yeah, right, he's turned in. So, load of malt and barley. I'm just, I'm perfect timing. I'm just finished with the snow here in the car park. I've got four big piles dotted about, but there's a lorry here just now, so. There's the lorry. This barley here, there's about one and a half loads sitting in there. I think over the next few days, there's three loads of malt and barley going out. I've done one bucket but I just need to go and pump up, there's a bit of a soft tyre in the front left here, a bit lopsided, you can feel that a lot when the bucket's full of grain. One load of malt and barley away, I think there's two more to go, no idea when they're coming, just this week though, well it's Thursday today so they'll appear when they appear, there's always someone kicking about to load a lorry so we don't really mind. Actually just got a text, another lorry in 45 minutes. It's already thawing away. Add to all the other water that's fallen in the last few days. Just had some scran, it's a bit colder in here now, the heating's not been on for half an hour but another lorry's just arrived so we're going to load it. My tarry on. Here we go, lorry number two, same people, was it DM Carnegie? DM Carnegie, Lawrence Kirk. Here he comes there, just getting the door open again. GoPro's deed, so you'll not get a view from up there.
So it was just a part load, it was about 16, 17 ton. Boys just finished there. And the next lorry is just around the corner, so it's gonna come up and reverse in. And then we're gonna put this pile of stuff in around here. So this pile, another part load, because they're on different accounts, uh, is going in the next lorry. It's all Laureate malting barley. It happened again. I said not to sell the rape. Dad sold the rape. Went up probably 30 euro today. Shocker. Anyway. Right, I'm just shifting that trailer out the road so we can get in at that pile. Get it yoked up, get it out of the way. It's filled with barley as well. There's barley in every corner in the shed. This is malting barley from two years ago which is along at yard number three, but it failed germination test, so it's just gonna go into the feed pile. Dad just reversed up to the wrong trailer. Anyway, we'll get this on. It's actually got a slight slow puncture, you can see it on the back there. Yeah, that'll do it. Keep going, keep coming, keep, keep going. Whoa, I'll do it, up. There you go. Cool, we need to get that pumped up. Oh, that's way softer than I thought. You tell them not to turn too tight with it. Next lorry is there, so just get this wee pile in here. Only be 15 ton or so. Bucket number five or so. That bar is just right in the middle of the perfect viewing point, so I have to either duck down or stretch up, see from there or there. I think the newer ones are all full curved no bars in the way, or bars like that, not a solid big bar. Job done, Dad shut the door, lorry's full, that's the molten barley done. Just picked up some copper grease, with one of those we nozzled to spray with for the egg grader, because it's needing all the joints are a bit, a bit goosed. Copper grease is pretty good for anti-seats and lubrication. Just lubricated it, anyway, I'll show you an egg through it. Right, here's a medium. So line them all up there, and away it goes. So because it's a medium, it'll come up here. I know that already, but it's based on weight. There you go. And it gets stacked up over here. Shift this bit back. I pulled out the other day when they were pouring the concrete so they could get the concrete lorry in the back there. Just checks nothing else has been put underneath it. Watch that drain pipe. Sound that. You'd hardly know it was snowing earlier. It's all disappeared. Here's my new tools I bought. Kind of by accident, but I, I like them. A wee tiny set. Well, not a tiny set, but short wee dinky spanners. But really handy. Like That's a 19 compared to a pretty standard 19. Handy just to chuck in a pocket. Take somewhere. Anyway. Just gonna blow up that tire um, oh, on the trailer. Because it's built for air brakes. It's got an air tank in the back, back so you can plug in an airline and blow up tires. Oh, I forgot the, the trigger. Damn it, this. Question of the day today, biscuits. I asked this a while back when I was, it was only a kind of few hundred viewers and now a few thousand viewers, which is good. Favorite biscuits, top three list really important if anything it's the most important question i've ever asked put it down below what's your favorite three biscuits in order one two three a lot last time there's loads of people carrying away for top three i'll tell you now that is not my top three i just need to get close-ish i think the pipe's long enough there you go that's it Whoa, that was stiff. One handed. Come on. That's it. It's actually not too bad because it's because it's sitting on the skid plate there. There's a lot of weight on this tire and not so much on this tire. It's set up so that when the drawbar is on the tractor and it's lifted up a bit, these two are roughly even load, quite flat. So obviously when it's sitting down on the skid plate there, the back one lifts up fractionally. 400 Kilo pascals, maximum pressure. 14 is or 14 and a half kilo pascals in a in a psi. 14 and a half. 400 divided by 14 and a half. Yeah, get my calculator right. 
but seven, seven times 28, is that 28? Let me check. Seven kilopascals to one PSI. So divide times by two, so 28, so 50 PSI-ish. Put it to 50. It's quite nice having some space in here now that the bays are starting to empty. Anyway, cheers, adios. See you in the next video. I need a wee like. Cammy the Sheep Game's got, um, Cammy's the name, Sheep's the Game. Someone, uh, think of something witty for the start of my videos. And